video. I'm so excited. What way to start the new year with my first video? Okay, so this is a look that I created. I start. I tried out some new brands. This baby, I'm like obsessed. But this one, I tried it out. And look at this glow, you guys. This is ridiculous. Like this glow is intense. But yeah, if you want to keep watching, please feel free to watch. If you don't want to watch, boom, out. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I would like you to stay. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you like it. Bye, you guys. Hi. So all right. So we're gonna start with the Anastas this Anastasia kit that I made. I'm sorry if my throat sounds really weird. I've been like kind of like if a little bit sick. But either let's just keep going. So this is Blanc and Fresh Pots. I'm gonna first use them on my high, but I need to prime them first. I've already gone ahead and done all my foundation, my concealer. The only thing I haven't done is put like any powder or anything on. So we're gonna go ahead to go ahead and do that. I'm gonna use a Mercier one. And uh, this one is absolutely pretty. Like it's just beautiful. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it all under the eye. If I'm looking this way, it's because my cat, my phone, um, my mirror is right there. But I'm gonna put it. We're just gonna do like that baking for right now. Does it wanna work with me? Okay. My God, it's really not working with me, you guys. All right, boom. Okay. So we're gonna do this, and then also this is gonna help us. Because I normally don't do foundation, but I already went ahead and did it. Um, since it's my first video, I just want to... Let's just do eyes, okay? I'm just, yeah. <laughs> so, I'm going to start with the Soft Ol Ochre by MAC. And I've been using... I bought, like, the collection of these It Brushes, the holiday ones. They're super cute. This one's a Luminous Concealer one. And we're just... I use it for my lids, but it's so pretty. I couldn't help myself. I love it. We're gonna go in with Blanc and Flesh by Anastasia. We're just gonna put those, rub that all over our lid, okay? Oh, and this brush is another one by the collection. This is the Stunning Eyeshadow. I just used this on my base, my base so, cause it's like really big and fluffy and I could just move it everywhere. Bam, we're done. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's the 3-5-F by Morphe. We're going to start with this really corner color right here. We're going to use that on our crease, okay? Just like a beginner one. I'm going to go. Just do a little circular motions. Oh my god, I keep forgetting to tell you what brush I'm using. This is the Morphe M504. I don't know if you can see that. No, you can't. It's just focused on me. But, M504. Okay, so we are going to go in with this Morphe, another Morphe palette. It's 35B. And I want to go in with this color right here. It's a really pretty matte one. I just kind of want to blend that color in there. It's kind of like a peach pinky color. And I kind of want to just blend it all the way in with that, that kind of peachy brownish tone we just did. Now, since we're starting to blend out the colors, I want to kind of give like a little wing effect Right here, very slightly one. So I'm just gonna kind of do a little triangle right over here. Let's do that little triangle. After that, I'm gonna go in with this Urban Decay Electric Palette. And we are gonna use this much pinker tone. We're gonna do that little V of Remember right here. This is a small V. That should look good. So, keep going. And remember, blend, blend, blend. That's like the key to a good makeup look is blending. 
making sure everything just looks really flawless and pretty. If you feel like you have any harsh lines, like right here where like the two colors mix, like from your brow bone, just go back to that, um, <clears throat> just go back to the M504 and just take it, just kind of brush it. Just give it a little good blending right there. It kind of helps soften up that line. <clears throat> that works. All right, after that, so I'm gonna get this brush right here. It's a pointed, pretty pointed blending brush. This is the M330 by Morphe. And I'm gonna get, same, we're going in same with this color or this palette from Urban Decay. It's called Jilt, Jilted. We are gonna go in with Jilted and just a little bit. Remember these, these colors are like super pigmented. Make sure you tap off like the axis because then you're gonna have fallout everywhere. But this is gonna help with the fallout. So we're just gonna go in with that crease again. And then right here, it's gonna start showing a little bit more where that angle is. And we're just gonna kinda just buff brush it a little bit out just to give it a little cute wing. A soft, like, like a soft little, like, like yeah, that was me. <laughs> Today, I want to try out this new baby. You guys, look at this box right here, it's so beautiful. <sighs> if you haven't got one, oh my gosh, this is a collection of the Light Up, Light Up the Night by Art Artist Couture. <sighs> we are gonna go in with this color, this baby right here. I'm gonna try out this brush too today. But we're gonna go out with this baby right here. It's called Broadway. I do want to put, I'm gonna put a little bit more of that paint pot like right around here just to, so it can be like kind of like a little glue. So, okay, you guys, I had to do it. I got the Mariah Carey eyeshadow brush, and it look at this baby, like, you guys. It's like Artist Couture and Mac had a baby, and this is what they came out with. And oh, and of course, our beautiful Mariah. So we're gonna get some of that powder, okay? And we are gonna brush. Just lightly tap it on. You guys, do you see this right here? I have never tried these colors, but holy crap. These are freaking gorgeous. So I, wanna, I think I want a little extra on the eyes, so I'm gonna go in with Anastasia fudge and just kind of darken it up i think i want to i don't i like the pink i just want to give it more like a little darker because you know at night you won't be able to see what i am gonna do i think i want to go in also with and i'm gonna mix these two this is the not today by Anastasia. We're gonna get in this one and this one. We're just gonna go ahead and mix these two, okay? I know there's it's quite a different combination, but I wanna try it, let's see it. Okay. Just to give it like a hint, a little bit of darker right here, but I wanna mix with that. Artist Couture one. I really want it to just look just real pretty. Just like that. See, it just, just blends in. We're gonna go in once again. 
cap it off because there is going to be fallout. I want to go go in back with that big fluffy brush and just go back and blend it. Make sure everything looks really nice and blended and just super soft. Excuse my dumb faces, okay? It helps me blend. <coughs> I'm gonna get that same color and I'm gonna go in with this one. This is from the It Brushes brand. This is uh, number 124, and I'm going to go in with these two colors again and go right at the bottom of my eye just to connect the look. And I'm not going to bring it in all the way, I just want to bring it right here in the outer. And we're going to get this one Savage one more time. We're just going to ha have it like kind of blend down here so it could give like kind of that, that look that we're going on the top. And have like a little pink glow around it. Now, you know, we're good. We're gonna dust this off. See? No fallout. It's nice. Let's go rub it in, make sure everything's all dusted, all pretty. I wanna try these. These are the Ardell. 812s are the faux mink ones. I haven't had a chance to buy the the real mink ones. I, I don't know. I'm really I'm really like iffy because you know price range. But if you have any suggestions of like really good mink brands, please feel free to comment below because I really want to try me some really nice babies. But for now, this will. So I'm gonna go in with my duo. My duo, this is a waterproof one, which I really like. I use this a lot on my brides since, you know, on the day of their wedding, they're crying. So we can't have no lashes be like flippy floppy, you know? Make sure those babies are holding on good. Now, while these are like holding up real quick, I am gonna show you my little trick. I have this Ardell eyelash heater. I haven't seen a lot of people use this which shocked me because I'm gonna be honest with you like my lashes are super crazy crazy straight and this is like the only baby that works for me which is crazy. I wish other stuff would work but I've tried like different ones like I've have this one by Tarte. I have another one by Bobbi Brown and then cheaper ones and nothing works for me so thank god I have this baby. I'm not gonna lie, I absolutely love this. But yeah, it just takes a lot of batteries, but no lie, my lashes are super straight and nothing, like I mean nothing, like they're straight, like I freaking look like the elephant on Sesame Street, okay? Like they're like that straight. And I've used things, but it don't work. So this is the only thing. I get it, so not brushing it, it doesn't help me. It's more of a, Grab it and just kind of do like that curl, like uh, curl it like if, like if it was lashes, you know? So you get it and curl those babies up. Look at that. I don't know if you can see this, but. Okay, so I want you to look at this, okay? Look at, look at this eye, okay? And look at this eye. Like, this is too big really big difference. Okay, now you can kind of see both of them. Look at my eyelashes are... This, no lie, saved my life. Like, I love it. I can't help it. I'm gonna it. use this Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. I like this. It's, it's pretty nice to like hold up my lashes, so it's been working for me really good. So I'm just gonna do like a little soft coat because I don't want them to over... I don't want my mascara to overpower the lashes either. The bottom one I don't care, but the top one is what I do care. Alright. So I'm just gonna put these as close as I can to my lash line, okay? And you wanna start from the middle and just kinda guide it your way around your eyeball. It's a cute, softer look. What do you think about these lashes? I kinda like them. They look very natural. They look like hair. I really like these. For being like the fake mink, hell yeah. 
They're pretty nice. <laughs> oh my god, I've been sick. Well, I just got, I'm not sick, but I keep coughing and I'm like, what the? But, okay, it'll turn blue. It's nice because it, if you see it, you kind of see like the hint. It turns blue when it's like um, getting dry. So that's right. Boom. I like these. So I was thinking if I wanted to put eyeliner on and I think I do. I think I wanna I think I wanna complete the look with some liner. So we're gonna get this feline by MAC and make sure it's sharpened. And we're gonna go in the waterline. Just a small soft line. Not too not too much. I told Anna he's a lot of eyeliner and I'm always like, it just tickles and I like want to cry. Ooh, okay. I'm good, you guys. I'm good. <laughs> Come on. Give us their water. <laughs> that would totally suck, you guys. Ugh. So I went ahead and did all um, the rest of my eyebrows because obviously I didn't have eyebrows. I'm going to go in with this Hula bronzer that I've been really liking. And I'm gonna just go in with this big, another one of the it collections holiday brush. I really like this one. This is super cute. It's the Brilliant Powder. I just use it as a all bronzer one, not as a contour one, just all bronzer. And I'm gonna buff it in. We're gonna use it on the forehead, kind of buff it in, give like a cute, just kind of shape everything. And I don't know about you, but I, I feel like I have a big forehead. <laughs> I always have since I was little, so I kind of, like that they like stepped us up a notch and started doing it for us and i'm like yes let's cover this five head up and you can make a kissy face if you want i mean i sometimes i do sometimes i don't but when you make a kissy face like you see like a little line right here that's where you're supposed to go from like from right here from the top of the ear all the way down to the corner of your mouth that's where your contour should be but right now we're just kind of using this as a little blending technique that I do for myself, for my face. Other girls have like gorgeous bone structure. I ain't one of those. Like you cannot even see that I'm, that I have a height of <laughs> people. <laughs> but I like doing this though. So. Same bronzer. I'm gonna use this NARS brush. This is um, the For Kuna, For, for, for Kuna. I don't even know how to say it. But I like it cause like me, I can't really, it's hard to see where my bone structure is. And it, I mean, I have other brushes like the MAC ones, the little angled ones, but I don't like it. I feel like it's still, it makes my face look dirty. So I like this one because I just place it on where the line should be. And I kind of just rub it just where that line should be. And you can kind of see where it's, you kind of see where it's going. And then I start brushing it up and do, I do circular motions as well, just to kind of help it blend out. When you start seeing where that line is. So this one has, and I saw this technique, nor this one from Jacqueline Hill's like contouring one, and oh my gosh, I had to get it. I was like, yes, I need to try that and see if it works, and it's been my baby ever since. And see, so look at, just a light one so beautiful just so soft really soft color and to darken it more I just kind of rub it more in the outer I try not to bring it in so much because then it's gonna make this part look dirty so I keep it more in the out like a sharp line. It's like yes, baby, yes. Yeah. So I'm gonna use this. Lancome's not used a lot. I noticed that, but I really like this one. This is the Lancome blush or pink fling. And see, it's a really pretty pinky. So I'm gonna use this on my cheeks today. And this is this is a different one, but this is still the eight brushes. Um, I like this one actually a lot. It's I feel like it's just, these brushes are just so soft. Like look at this. Like it's like heaven. Like I feel like I'm in that song. I'm in heaven. But 
this is it. This is the number 227. I have to go back in with this this big baby. <laughs> I'm like loving this, you guys. But I'm gonna try that Illuminati one. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna highlight, okay? I've never used these highlights, so I'm like, I'm just, <sighs> you don't understand. We're gonna go in with some Fix Plus. Yes. So good. So, we let that dry, but right before we let it dry, oh my god, I got my hair wet. <laughs> right before we let it dry, we're gonna dust this on, okay? Oh, oh wow. Woo! You guys. Oh my god. Oh my god, you guys. Look at this glow. Are you are you seeing what <laughs> I'm like in shock right now? Are you serious? Oh my gosh, yes. No wonder everybody loves it. Look at my face. I look like a goddess. Like I feel like I'm glowing for the gods right now. Like this is crazy. I'm in shock right now. I'm in shock. I, I, I just, I'm like with no words right now. Like you have to be careful because this is like, man, dude, you have to be careful because they're like, this is super pigmented and like, it's like, bam. I'm up in your face. So I'm just going to put like this highlight. This, oh, by the way, this is the base shadow brush, but I like it. Like for you guys. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Look at how. You guys, look at this. Like, do you see this? Do you see what I see? This highlight, I'm not gonna lie. It just, this this highlight is, it's life right now. I'm like in shock. This is so beautiful. <laughs> I'm so in shock right now, it's so pretty. <coughs> I wanna go in with a, a little bit lighter one. So I wanna use Coco Bling on the inner part of my eye. Like the tear duct ducks. I'm gonna go with a couple bling you guys, okay? I wanna get a clean brush. Hold on. Let's see. I'm gonna use this one by e.l.f. It's just a nice round one. It's just a good one. So if you have any good round brushes, use it. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna touch. Go in with it. Can dust it off now. Wow, like the um, I'm very impressed. I'm very impressed with these are just fabulous like they're so beautiful this just gave my whole makeup game a run for my money right now you guys 
I feel like a glowing goddess right now. And then I have pink. <sighs> yes. Yes. Okay, so I just want to go in, keep, I want the eyes to be like the most dramatic, and I just want my lips to be like kind of soft and cute. So I'm going to go in with MAC Honey Love. But I want to go with um, Sweet Nectar and just kind of give my lips a little bit of a little plumpiness. So this is the final look, you guys. I hope you really like it. I touched it up with some bling because I think it's gonna look so good, especially with all this glowiness going on. So um, I decided to just hook it up with this and I think I'm good for the night. I'm ready to go and put it. But if you like this look, please give it a thumbs up and if you really like this one, please subscribe. Bye, you guys.